Hello. So, crow pose. I know that you <laughs> have been curious about crow pose and crow pose is one of the best yoga poses because it feels like once you get that pose, it's like I can do everything. I am invincible. So I wanted to make this video to give you some tips for crow pose. I am going to give you tips and you can really try them out in any order that you like and kind of take what feels good. And if it doesn't feel good or it doesn't really resonate with you, just leave it behind. The first thing I'm going to do is tell you the obvious, which is crow pose requires a lot of core strength. Okay. It is really important to have that strength so you can lift your feet off. So number one, to create that core strength that we need in any type of arm balance or inversion, I believe the best pose is boat pose, Nalasana. It's one of the poses that I love and hate. So to do boat pose, sit on your mat, take your legs out in front of you just like I am, keep your back really, really strong and straight. Pull your belly in and what we're doing is we're going to lift our legs up off the earth See if you can push your knees in towards each other. Keep your toes active. Hands can come out or behind your legs. And then you're going to play around with lifting your legs up parallel to the mat. Pull your belly in. Shoulders pull back. Back is straight. Maybe you take your arms out. And maybe you even play around with extending one leg or the other. Hold this for as long as you can. This pose will really, really change your core, pull your core, your core in towards your backbone and breathe. Once you have that, the second pose I'm going to ask you to work on is Chaturanga to build shoulder strength. The arms that we use in crow are really similar to the arms we use in chaturanga. So for chaturanga, you can start in high plank or you can start in low plank. And I might do a tutorial on chaturanga separately. So I won't go into detail here, but I will just say to build strength in chaturanga, no matter where your knees are, you're just practicing holding down at about a 90 degree angle with the elbows. Belly pulls in, pelvic floor pulls up, and we practice holding that. My third tip for crow is to start uh, curving the back. So when you're doing cat cow, you notice that we kind of push into your hands and curve the back. Wherever you are, see if you can find this curve by tucking your chin almost, right? And then when we come to crow pose, let's say that you start in Malasana. Take your hands out in front of you, just about as wide as the mat on the inside and curve into the back as you lift your knees on the outside of your triceps. But you have this upper back curve and that allows you to get them a little bit higher, a little bit more secure. Then keep this curve, or maybe you take your knees to the inside, keep this curve as you take your weight towards your hands. Once you are here, take some of that weight into the underside of the knuckles. And we still have this curve in the back, but instead of looking back behind you, you're going to look slightly in front of you. If you look at the camera now, you'll see that I'm looking at the top of my mat, just past it. So you can see that my neck is bent back just slightly. You're pulling your belly in, and then you might practice lifting one leg up and the other. When you lift your legs up, squeeze, 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 squeeze them in as you breathe. So we bring them up. Belly button pulls in, curve in the upper back, and then lift your legs up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze them in, looking at the top of the mat, and then exhale lower. Perfect. 
My last tip is for you if you have any type of block or anything that can kind of pretend to be a block. With your block, place it where you're gonna put your feet on its lowest level. Then take your hands in front and literally step on your block. Then lower your hips all the way down. Then find your crow pose. So you can see that my elbows are a little bit up closer towards my uh, armpits. You can wrap your knees on your triceps. And then lift it up. Push into your hands. Separate your shoulders from your neck and play around lifting one foot off the block and then the second squeezing in. And lower your hips all the way down. That should be enough to get you started with crow. Once you are in crow, you really wanna practice pushing that earth away and connecting with your breath. Please let me know if that was helpful. Uh, make sure that you're looking after your wrists. If you haven't had a look at the wrist videos now already, go ahead and do that. I'll try to link them here. Um, yeah, have a wonderful rest of your day.